morning. Today is Monday, January 6th, and we're out and about. Just went to the bank because I got my check and I cashed it. And now I'm going to go home and have lunch. No, I'm going to have breakfast. Um, I'm thinking lunch on my mind. I don't know why. My breakfast is... Eh. I've decided that this week I'm going to... Um, Start again showing you my food, showing you my daily quote, getting back on track. Just um, I'm hoping I'm hoping to do better. I really am hoping to do better this, this year. This is gonna be my year. I lost 58 pounds my first year I joined. If I can match my success, I'll be at my goal. I'll be at the goal that the uh, Weight Watchers wants me to be at. So it's a win-win. But uh, I'm telling you, once I get closer to it, I'm gonna be arguing. I know that. I know who I am. But today we have a birthday. Today is Francis Sanchez's birthday. So Francis, you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Francis. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I have to say I want to thank Joan over at Joan's Pointed Plate because doing the menu is really helping me out a lot. Because this morning, I, even Jim said this morning when I was getting up to uh, get stuff ready for the day. Um... He says, I said, well, I got to go to the bank first, but when I get back, I'm going to eat breakfast. And he says, well, it's kind of early for you to eat breakfast. And I go, well, I already got my menu plan. I already know what I'm going to have. So that's going to work out great for me. And I'm going to try to start eating three meals because as much as we don't like to admit it, you need to eat to lose weight. And it just doesn't seem right. It just seems like if you starve yourself that you should lose weight. But your body said, hey, wait a minute. Let's hold back on this. Sandy needs some nutrition, so uh, let's just hold back because we might need these calories for later on. So I'm going to start uh, listening to my body, and uh, instead of drinking my water, I drink I drink uh, 32 ounces of water first thing in the morning. I think what I'm going to do, which I didn't do it this morning because I usually drink it, is I think that keeps me full, and that's why I don't want to eat. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and then drink my water through the day because uh, I know you're supposed to drink so many ounces of water with your body weight but I think that I was drinking too much water and the water was keeping me from eating I don't know I'm trying I really am trying because I'm determined that this year is going to be my year I am so determined and um, I'm going to persevere I know you're going to get tired of hearing me say that a lot of times, like I say, you got to put it out loud out in the universe. Once it's out in the universe, then it has to happen. It just has to happen. So. That's my goal for today. And I forgot which. I picked out the quote I was going to use at the beginning. I have a quote in my book I already wrote down. Because I already wrote my breakfast down uh, in the book. That way I'm committed to making it when I get home. <laughs> so, but I wanted to get to the bank first to get this because I got stuff I got to do today and I, I just wanted to get get the banking out of the way. But um, I did pick out a quote that I have like I showed. I can't remember exactly what it was. But I'm sure it has something to do with staying strong and persevering and just knowing that you can't... Uh, you just have to rely on yourself, you know, you just, I mean, Weight Watchers is a great tool that helps you out. YouTube is a definite great tool for me, but uh, in the long run, I'm the one that's choosing the food and putting it in my mouth, and I'm the one that's making the decision on what I'm going to eat and what I'm not going to eat. And okay, wait till I get right here and then pull right in front of me. Yeah. I could see that they were going to do that, even with the sun in my eyes, but it's a beautiful day with the sun shining. You don't get much sun in Michigan. Well, you get sun, but, you know, it's mostly overcast and cloudy in the winter. Which explains why I have to take a vitamin D tablet now. Which is not a big deal, but it's just one more pill. And it's just like, I'm trying to eliminate pills. There was a squirrel there. I got distracted. I'm telling you, there's not very many squirrels in my neighborhood. So, when I see one, I'm fascinated. I know they're rodents. I know that, but you know what? They're one of God's creatures. Of course, mice are one of God's creatures, and I don't want to see any in my house. No. Questions. I got lots of questions when I get there. I really do. Don't get behind me in line. Because I have questions. This is not really a 
a good. I look like Casper, the Bentley ghost. Bentley is ghost, you know. But the visor is too. I got. Jim always says when he gets in my car, he says, you never know what you're going to get attacked with because Sandy stores everything in her visors, which I do. I store everything in my visors. But I know where they are at. I know exactly what I need when i got to get it. I know where it is. He doesn't even like, I have a Kleenex box up there too. He says, well, you got a Kleenex box up in the visor. I said, somebody gave it to me. I love it. I keep it. As he's pulling out a piece of Kleenex. Listen, see? Jim doesn't sit in the passenger seat very often. Jim does all the driving. I never mentioned that I don't like to drive. I don't need to drive. But yet, look how many Clark walks I do. Because it's inevitable. You have to go somewhere. And most of the things I have to go to are too far to walk to. Otherwise, I would walk to them if I could. I'd have one of those grandma carts. That's what we used to call them when I was growing up. Those little shopping carts that the grandmas used to walk up to the store every day because you only had that small little... I don't know how I would have survived. We had this small little refrigerator. We didn't have an ice box. Well, we probably had an ice box when I was really little, but I don't remember it. But I know we had a really, really small refrigerator with a really tiny, teeny, tiny freezer. The freezer was, I can go straight because I'm on my block. It was about this big. You, you didn't fit much in there, maybe an ice cube tray, and then it would get so frozen and the ice would all form all over it, and then you'd have to take a pick to get the stuff out of the freezer. <laughs> so all the, the grandmas, I used to call them grandmas, but they're probably just moms, they used to take their little shopping carts and pull it, and they'd go up to the, uh, the market and get their food for the day. And that was when I was really little. It wasn't super convenient like it is now. I don't know why I put the turn signal on to go into my own garage. There's nobody on the block. There's nobody around. So, all right, we are home now. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I am going to have some scrambled eggs with um, some turkey sausage, which I've never had in my life. I've never had turkey sausage. So I got turkey sausage patties. And then I'm gonna have a couple slices of um, Aunt Millie's 35 calorie bread and some sugar free jam and a cup of tea and a banana. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Let's go eat. Okay, let's start off with breakfast. Started my day with a prayer. Today is Monday, January 6th. Uh, the quote is If it was about knowledge, we would all be rich and skinny. It's not about what you know, but what you do. It's a five point breakfast zero for my scrambled eggs, three points for my turkey sausage, two points for my toast with the sugar-free jelly and a tea and banana zero five points I still have 18 points left for the lunch okay for lunch I'm gonna have a, um, a sandwich with some uh, vegetables and some fruit uh, I can highly recommend if you're new to my channel these Rubbermaid containers um, what I do is I put a piece of paper toweling or a napkin on the bottom with the green and I put my berries in here um, the same thing with the spinach. I put the paper towel on the bottom and put a paper towel on the top. I've had my fruit and vegetables in these containers last up to three weeks. Uh, you might have to change the paper towel. This one's getting a little damp. Uh, it absorbs the, the liquid in it, so I'm going to change that. But anyway, let's get on to what I'm having. Um, I have an ounce of um, provolone cheese. I'm going to use an extreme wellness wrap for one point. I'm going to have some honey smoked Oscar Mayer turkey. I'm going to have a holy guacamole. I'm going to use some honey mustard. I'm going to have a glass of iced tea, uh, unsweetened. Not a glass, a bottle. Unsweetened iced tea for zero points. Always got to drink your water. And know where your bathrooms are, as, uh, as uh, Anita said. But here's my sandwich. I um, I just uh, wrap up this. The uh, I do the layer of the guacamole and then the the meat, then the cheese, and then the spinach, and then just roll it up. Put, well, I put some of my honey mustard on, roll it up, and cut it in half, and then my vegetables. You definitely, definitely need a scale. you got to weigh your stuff if you really want to stay on track. So it's a nine-point lunch. Um, on my menu plan, I had said that I was going to have some crackers with it. I decided I wanted the holy guacamole instead. The crackers were two points. The holy guacamole is three. So... Um, I increased it by one point, but I still was within my budget for the day, so that was no problem. 
So the extreme wellness wrap is one point. The two ounces of deli turkey is one point. The little packet of holy guacamole is three. Uh, it's zero for the spinach, the cucumber, the tomato, the mustard, and the strawberries. And my ounce of provolone cheese was four points. So it's nine points. I still have nine points left for dinner. Um, I have no problem. I, I know I will stay within my budget today. Okay, here's my dinner. It's a apple sausage stuffed twice baked sweet potato. I did a cook with me. I'm going to have it up tomorrow morning if you want to see how it's made. Um, I have a half a cup of refried fat-free refried beans with a tablespoon of sour cream and my lemonade and diet um, cranberry juice combo. What I use is I use a cup of the Simply Light Lemonade, which is one point, and then I use a cup of the Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice, so the whole glass is just one point. I use full fat uh, sour cream. I didn't use the two tablespoons, I only used one tablespoon. And I use these um, apple sa chicken sausage, um, apple chicken sausage, yeah, for my potato. And you know what a sweet potato looks like. Just a regular sweet potato. And I had some green onions and some sage and some cheese in it. But uh, I had nine points left and I used all nine points. Five points for my twice baked apple sausage chicken sweet potato twice baked. One point for a tablespoon of sour cream. Two points for a half a cup of refried beans and one point for my Simply Lemonade and Diet Cranberry Juice. Nine points. I used 23 points total for the whole day. I've already tasted this and it's delicious. I don't know so much about eating the skin. That's my only thing. I want to try it, but I don't know. Well, I have to tell you that that um, sweet potato thing was really good. Twice baked apple sauce, twice baked chicken apple sausage stuffed sweet potato. <laughs> It's a mouthful and it was delicious it was really good I did do a cook with me I'm gonna have it up tomorrow morning about 8 o'clock I'm gonna give you a fair warning though <laughs> when I thought I had the camera on I was turning it off and then when I turned it off is when I was really turning it on so you didn't get to see me make the recipe somewhat not completely but <laughs> but I did explain how I did it and I did leave my little blooper in I cut it way down because it was um, like a whole 15 or 20 minutes of the prepping and everything. <laughs> you, you can just see what scatterbrain I am. I really am. But um, I showed you the finished product and I showed you a little bit about it. But uh, I did tell you at the beginning that if you wanted to stop watching at that point, just skip to the end to see what it looked like. I completely understand. But um, <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to welcome Angela's Unique Life. She came over from B's channel. We all well, we all follow B anyhow. But thank you for coming over, Angel. I really I'm assuming that's your name, but Angel's Unique Life, and Sophia Marie D. I have two new subscribers. I just I, I I'd like to acknowledge you. So if you're new to my channel, no matter when you came up, if you're not one of my originals, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. If you just want to hear your name, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. Uh, in the description box below, <clears throat> um, I'm going to leave a link to Weight Watchers if you are thinking of joining Weight Watchers. Uh, the way I read it, I'm hoping I'm reading it correctly, that we both get a month free. Um, I'm assuming I'm reading it right. That's why I left a little disclaimer in there too, so that you can read it too to see if maybe I'm wrong. But um, if you do subscribe, I know I get a month free, but... <laughs> I think you do too. I had my daughter and I had my sister look at it and they read it the same way. So I don't know. We'll see. But um, I stayed on track today. Stayed right within my 23 points. I have to admit that keeping the uh, menu is keeping me on track. And, um, and, I, and I'm liking it. I didn't think I would, but I am liking it. Because this is my year. This is my year and I know it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach my goal. So um, give this video a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and share.